Yeah, just try and point it around wherever the action is. You yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. see some people, somebody doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sin, sin, sin leads to hell, hell, hell. That's why we come out here to preach today, because we don't want our neighbors to go to hell. That's why Jesus Christ came in the flesh of a man, God himself came in the flesh of a man, that he could be an atoning sacrifice for all of mankind. It doesn't matter what your appearance is, it doesn't matter what your ethnicity is, it doesn't matter where your ancestors came from. We are all of one blood, all of mankind. We're all brown, different shades of brown, but we're all brown. We all have red blood. And Jesus Christ died for all of mankind. But you must go to God in grief and sorrow for your sin. Some people, they never go to God for grief and sorrow in the sin, in their, for their sin. You know what they do? They go to church. They never go to God in repentance. They go to a church building. And they think because they go to a church building, they think because they're really nice to people, they think because they give money in the offering plate, they think they're going to heaven. And them, in the pride of their hearts, those church-going, unborn-again hypocrites are going to burn in the everlasting lake of fire and brimstone. Because that's what they deserve. All the hateful middle finger people. The ones who are offering the themselves. Going to burn. He's not going to let any hateful people into heaven. Don't prostitute yourself. That's wicked. No, spread, no one wants you to spread disease. See, the only way that you're actually going to be a loving person is to be born again. You need the Spirit of God. You need the love of God. You need His love in you to be pleasing to God. But so many people, they, they have their own religion. They have their church attendance. They have their own their supposed good works. Some people even out here in the, on, the, on the square today, they're out handing out their false cultic doctrine over there. I recommend that nobody takes any of that watchtower literature unless you're going to throw it in the garbage. Or use it for toilet you, paper, just don't get a paper cut. You can't work your way to heaven by being a religious person. you got to humble your heart toward God in grief and sorrow because you've sinned against Him. Now I know everybody out here within the sound of my voice has sinned against God. You know how I know? Because I believe God's words. God's words say that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means you! Everybody! And you should go to God in a, with a broken heart and a contrite spirit because you've sinned against Him. You've lived, lived a wicked life in His, in, His, in His sight. And if you were to actually accept that repentance, of that grief and sorrow toward God for your sin and have your faith in Jesus Christ that died on the cross of Calvary, making Himself an atoning sacrifice for your sin, then God would be faithful and justified in saving your soul. God doesn't save you because you go to a church building. God doesn't save anybody because you're a pastor or a priest or a worship leader. You got a verse for that? No, you don't. It's traditions of men. It's business. That's what happens in these church buildings. Like down the street here. What is there, a half a dozen gigantic church buildings that don't pay any taxes? Oh, you pay taxes. Unconstitutional, by the way. These church buildings will tell you all day long that you need to pay your taxes, but they went through great pains that they don't... Entire city block over here, no taxes collected from them, so you got to pay more. These church buildings, World Outreach Church, New Vision Baptist Church, oh, they'll claim with their mouths that they love you. They'll claim with their mouths that they love the people of Murfreesboro. But they got it, got themselves a 501c3 tax exemption so they can shift their tax burden onto the people of Murfreesboro and Rutherford County. That's not loving, that is oppression from the church buildings. And then when you go in there, they don't offer you true salvation through Jesus Christ. Just if you show up there and you give them your money, they'll say, welcome brother, welcome sister. They don't care at all whether you're born again. They are in the business of business. That's what the church buildings in Murfreesboro are doing. 
World Outreach, New Vision Baptist, all these ones down the street here, the Church of Christ throughout, throughout Tennessee, they're in the business of making money. Matter of fact, they're worse than most other businesses because they don't even provide you with anything of value. I mean, at least when you go to Starbucks, you get a tasty cup of coffee. You go to a church building, you get false doctrine, false hope, false religion. That's what you get. It's just the opposite. See, so many people say to be a Christian, you have to go to church. I'm here to tell you, folks, it's impossible to go to church. Biblically speaking, it is impossible to go to church. That is a tradition of man. It is man-made religion. If you're actually a Christian, you are part of the body of Christ. You are part of the church. Now, you should meet together with other members of the body of Christ. Uh, I don't know, maybe come out on the, on the square on Farmer's Market with part of the body of Christ to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ like Jesus Christ commanded us to do. Maybe that's what you might do. But going to church is not a thing in the Bible. It is a thing to religious people who are trying to work their way to heaven. Religious people who are confused. Now there may be some people that are born again that go to a church building for some period of time because they haven't come to an understanding of the truth of the Word of God. That's where we come in. We're out here to preach the truth of the Word of God. There's so many fake, phony, fraudulent religions around the world, around America, in Tennessee, and even in Murfreesboro, all over the place. So many people in Murfreesboro, they say, oh, I love Jesus. So oh. many people will claim Christianity. Murfreesboro Pride shirt. <laughs> so many people claim Christianity, but they don't obey the basic doctrines of Christ. Jesus said for his followers to go into all the world and preach the gospel unto every creature. You'd think you wouldn't be able to swing a dead cat around Murfreesboro with all the church buildings we have without hitting some sort of a, some, some preacher who's out preaching the gospel. But the reason you don't see it, the reason that pre the preachers of the gospel are so few and far between in a town that has hundreds, at least hundreds of church buildings calling themselves Christian. It's pride. It's because they're prideful and they're full of false converts. Wicked they don't pride. care at all about following Jesus Christ. They just want to try and assuage the shame for their sin. That's what your religion does. You try and assuage the shame for your sin. You think putting 20 in an offering plate is going to wash away your sin? You think your church attendance is going to wash away your sin? It's not. You think singing a song about Jesus and raising your hands is going to cast your sin as far as the east is from the west? It's not. You are still in your sin if you haven't been born again. If you haven't gone to God in grief and sorrow for your wickedness. No. Yeah, boo to sin. Did she say moo or boo? Boo to people that hate God. Boo to people that reject the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You don't need to and prostitute boo yourself. boo to the middle finger, hateful people. Spread disease. Boo to wickedness, and you need to humble your heart toward God and grief My wife wouldn't appreciate that. Sin. It's called adultery. A man should have his own wife. And you need to, you need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. Then you would actually be a Christian. Through faith and repentance, then you would be born again. If you were actually made a new creature in Christ, then you would be part of the body of Christ. And then you, God, after he's faithful and justified in saving your soul, then you could have the assurance of salvation. You would be given the earnestness of the Holy Ghost, and you would know you were going to heaven. It wouldn't be about working your way to heaven. It wouldn't be about, well, I, I didn't go to church. Oh, am I going to hell now? It wouldn't be about, well... I'm going to give extra money to the offering plate. So now I know I'm going to heaven. That is your worst works-based false religion that's going to lead people to hell, hell, hell. You need to be born again. You need to put your faith in Jesus Christ, not in your religiosity. Like that guy, what did he say? He greeted me. Wow. He used to go to the charismatic... Uh, he's, a mock, he's a mocker, he's a false convert. He used to go to the Shundamakine Economy Car Show in church that I used to go to in my era. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Hopefully he's repentant of that. Wow. He's actually gotten born again. Wow. 
but he seemed to be just uh, a little prideful there. That's not good. See, Jesus warned us about the false converts, how so many people are going into the everlasting lake of fire and brimstone. See, Jesus Christ commanded, enter ye in at the straight gate. That's what you're supposed to do. Enter in at the straight gate. Not the church building doors. That's not the way of salvation. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Now that reminds me of the church building doors. They'll have multiple double doors wide open, like the broad gate that leads to destruction that Jesus told us about. And he also said, and many there be which go in there at. Oh yes, there are many people that go into these false Christian church buildings. They have thousands that go there, thousands that go to World Outreach Church, thousands that go to New Vision Baptist Church, and all around Murfreesboro. It is the broad way, that's where so many people go, and it's the easy way. You can hold hands with tons of people going to their church buildings that have never been born again and are destined for the flames of hell. But they've been given confidence by their false religion because somebody patted, on them, patted them on the back because, oh, they prayed one time and, and maybe they shed a tear and somebody patted them on the back and said, welcome brother, welcome sister, when they've never been born again. Those are the people that are on the broad way that leads to destruction and may that be which go in there at. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. There's few people that find the straight gate and the narrow way which leadeth unto life. You know why so many people don't find it? Because they're not looking for it. So many people that call themselves Christians, so many people that fancy themselves to be religious, they don't find the straight gate and the narrow way because they ain't looking for it. If they don't find it for the same reason I haven't found any heroin or crack ever in my life. Because I ain't looking for it. People that, most people that call themselves Christians today, they're not looking for the straight gate and the narrow way. They just want to get to heaven. They want to assuage their sin by their own, good, their own works. The works that they call good. And those religious people, they think they're going, going to uh, be welcomed into heaven after living a wicked life, after never having their sins washed away, after never going to God in grief and sorrow and never having faith in Jesus Christ. They're going to appear before Jesus Christ on Judgment Day. And Jesus Christ told us about that too. They're going to say, Lord, Lord, didn't we cast out devils? Didn't we feed the poor? Didn't we do many wonderful works in your name? Didn't we hand out watchtower literature on the, on the street corner? And Jesus Christ is going to say unto them, Depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Those are the false converts. Those are the people that have taken the Lord's name in vain. Don't be one of them. Don't be the false convert that thinks going to church is getting you to heaven. Going to church isn't the thing. If you actually understood the Bible, going to church is not in there. It's not possible. That's a tradition of men. That's the works of the devil. The devil says go to church and you'll go to heaven. Scripture says, if you humble your heart toward God in grief and sorrow and put your faith in Jesus Christ, you'll be born again, then you will be the church. You will be part of the body of church. The church is not a building. Not in Christianity, anyway. In false worldly religion, it certainly is. But praise God, you could be sanctified. You could be justified. You could be glorified away from those things. You need to be sanctified from the philosophies of this world. You need to be sanctified from the religion of this world. You need to be sanctified from the wickedness of this world. You need to be sanctified even from your own sin. And that's only if your soul is washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. But that only happens for those who have a humble heart and a contrite spirit and those that have faith in Jesus Christ. Otherwise, you're going to live in fear. You're going to live in fear of everything. A lot of people today, they live in fear of invisible things that they know nothing about. They have been brainwashed by the television programming and they've been made afraid and they do ridiculous things. When God gave all of mankind 
an immune system. You should have a robust and functioning immune system. And all you need to do to have that is to feed your body properly and don't abuse it. But so many people today, they have a weak immune system because they've abused their bodies. So many people, they can't fight off disease because they've been poisoning themselves with their alcohol. They've been poisoning themselves with their tobacco smoke. They've been poisoning themselves with their vape and who knows what chemicals in that. They poison themselves by injecting toxic chemicals under their, their skin because it looks cool. I'm here to tell you folks, if you inject heavy metals under your skin, that's not healthy for you. God told you specifically not to be doing junk like that. See, if you didn't abuse your body, you would have a much healthier immune system and you wouldn't have to worry about invisible things that might be floating in the air that the television programming has made you afraid of. You wouldn't have to be afraid of those things. What you need to do is fear God. Jesus Christ says, fear God. He's the one that can cast your body and soul into hell. Fear him. See, the Christian God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he gave you your body. He's the one that caused you to be alive. You should fear him. He put your life in that body, and he's going to take that life out of that body. And then you're going to stand before him, and you're going to be judged, judged, judged. Jesus Christ loves judgment so much today, he has an entire day. You know what it's called? Judgment day. And if you haven't been born again, if you haven't been made, made a new creature in Christ, through faith and repentance, you're going to be judged wicked, like your father the devil. And you're going to be cast out into the everlasting lake of fire and brimstone. We don't want that for you. We don't want you to burn for your sin like you deserve. We want you to be made part of the body of Christ. We want your sin cast as far as the east is from the west. That's what you need. But so many people, they just go to their church building. They think their religiosity makes them right, right with God. Your religious participation, your religious attendance, doesn't wash away your sin. Someone who's actually born again, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to help them away from their sin. Jesus Christ would help you away from your drunkenness, would help you away from your gluttony, would help you away from your alcoholism, would help you to sanctify your body so you could actually serve Him. But like I was saying earlier, those that abuse their bodies through the lust of their flesh are going to die. They're going to die early. Have you ever seen an 80-year-old man that weighed 400 pounds? No, you haven't. Because he abused his body and he died early. See, your, your body, if you're a Christian, is supposed to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, you're going to use it for His glory. You're not going to spend the rest of your life abusing your body for your lust. That's not the Spirit of God. One of the fruits of the Spirit of God is temperance. If you have the Spirit of God, temperance would lead you to push away from the table, put the spoon down, and stop eating tens of thousands of calories of junk food every day. That is part of the sanctified life that a Christian ought to be living. And that's something that would make America a better nation. I don't know if it's ever been great. I don't know if it's going to be great. But if we have more people that are born again Christians through faith in Jesus Christ and a repentance towards God, we're going to have a better nation. Fewer sinners make a better society. Wouldn't you agree? Fewer drug abusers, fewer rapists, Fewer drunkards. Fewer pedophiles. Fewer revilers. Yeah, pedophiles like in Disney, the Walt Disney people. In Hollywood. Hollywood people and in the religious cults like the Roman Catholics and the Jehovah's Witnesses. They all like to abuse the children and try and hide it away. If we had more people that are actually born again, maybe those people, God would have mercy on, on our nation and bring those people to justice. That would be good. That would be good if God would bring justice to the people that abuse children. Like I said, in the Catholic cult, the Jehovah's Witness cult, in the Walt Disney cult, and so many others. 